Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q4 of the weekly contest 264, Parallel, Parallel Courses 3. So this one I thought was easier than most Q4s. Um, I, yeah, I don't know if there's anything tricky that they intended. And to be honest, the, the reason why I took a long time, and if you, you can watch me solve it live, is because I actually had struggled a little bit with reading this problem. Um, cause I, I think they were a little bit, um, this one could have used a little bit, um, uh, uh, this one could have used a little bit more proofreading, I believe, because I think when I, when this, like a relationship should not have both a previous and a next, because that means, for me anyway, in English, means that there are three things, right? One is previous, one is now, and one is next, or something like that, right? So, so it, I don't know. And, and to be frank, maybe it's an excuse because I, I hiked a lot today. So I'm really tired uh, and my body's beat. So I don't know. Maybe I just misread it a little bit. Um, so I actually, if you watched the video, I spent like two minutes trying to figure this out. And I was just confused as hell because I thought like Jay was in there somehow, right? Um, but yeah, but no, no, no. This is just, um, so this is given a course. It has a requirement of J. That's all they have to say. I don't know why they, they make it so confusing. Uh, course J. Um, or yeah, course sub J has a requirement of requirement sub J. That's all this is. Anyway, um, so yeah, so this is going to be a greedy algorithm. This is um, the way that I thought about it is kind of similar to topological sort, and topological sort uh, is a greedy algorithm in that you keep on doing what you can do, um, at least the BFS way. Um, you may phrase it in another way on a DFS way, but but the idea is still the same, right? Um, this is a greedy algorithm, and that's basically um, so. To get the minimum amount of time, you take a course as soon as you can take it, and you take and you can. The the earliest you can take a course is if it has no requirements, right? No or no more requirements that you haven't met. So that's basically the idea. I really don't. I mean, some people. You know, got in two minutes, uh, three minutes. This is a very straightforward problem. I, I uh, if you want to say that my reading is bad, and you know, but I actually got in this one. It's kind of weird because I actually solved this one faster than the Q2 or Q3, and even maybe Q1 if you count the penalty. So this may be the easiest problem of the contest for me. Um, yeah, so that's basically the idea, and I'm just going to show you the code, and we'll go over the code, but I don't think there's anything I, I can add to the code, to be frank, because um, I think the visualization and what I said is true. And yeah, uh, go over it again if you need to, right? which is that key points is greedy, take a class as soon as you can take it, uh, GG well played. Anyway, uh, I haven't said it yet, I don't think so. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord, especially if you love co talking about contests. I mean, for example, uh, 1015634, um, had to figure out how to use your name for him, but um, isn't there all the time talking about winning? So, uh, so yeah. Um, yeah, let's just go over the code. Um, so basically, I don't, I actually. Initially, I thought that I could do it with a sweep line, and I think you can still do a sweep line, but it has to say, I mean, I think the implementation is the same, to be honest, because um, you can think about the things that we're doing as a sweep, um, except for that we use a heap in, instead of sorting it um, premature, uh, but yeah. Um, cool. Um, yeah, so basically, we, we create an etched list, um, for, um, and this is pretty much standard, um, topological sort, to be frank. Um, you, you keep track of the in degree and in degree is a fancy way of saying there's an edge looking at this degree, but you can also maybe revert this as pre, pre prerequisites, right? Um, you can think about it that way. Maybe that's a better way of uh Englishing, right? Uh, if I miss somewhere, just throw it in your head. Um so yeah, so this is saying that the class V has one right like, prerequisite. And that um and this edge list just allows us to go, okay, if when we fulfill the class U, it means one fewer prerequisites for V. And here we go, okay, take all the classes without prerequisites, right? Take all classes without prereqs. Pre um, and that's basically here, and and 
And now we start taking this class, when will it finish? It will finish at time i, because it's 0 plus time i, because you start at time 0, it'll finish at time i. That's basically it. And then here we get the early, um, the next t class that finishes, because um, this is a heap, so and in Python especially, um, it, you'll get the smallest element in the beginning. Um, and every time you complete, you have one fewer class to take, so this is what computers you go to want. Um, and as soon as we complete all the classes, and they guaranteed you that um, they guaranteed you that it's possible to finish every class, so there's no cycles. Otherwise, it might be a little bit messy. But I mean, I think this would have finished it anyway. But um, but yeah. So when all the classes complete, then the class that we finished the uh, the time we finished the last class is the time that we return. Otherwise, we, as we said, okay, we finished class I. Let's look at all the classes classes that depend on this class and we subtract one from the prerequisites. If there are no more prerequisites, well, then let's take this class. What When does this class finish taking? T plus time sub V. That's pretty much it. Um, and of course, this is it. Um, there, in this heap, there will be at most n elements because each element or each um, each class, each class in n will only take uh, or will only be inserted once and popped once. So yeah, so it's going to be n log n, and that's basically the solution. And that's basically all I have for this one. Um, let me know what you think. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Um, you can watch me solve it live next. You can watch me really struggle on the reading. Maybe you see my eyes a little bit. I'm squinting a lot because I'm passing out soon. Uh, I, I, I am tired. Anyway, um, here, um, you can watch me solve it live during the contest next. And congrats to that guy, but. Um, I've been slower, but I actually should be able to do this one faster. Uh, Q3, I should have gotten better, but okay. Let's see, when are you going to... What? So a lot of people already solved this, mostly because I'm just slow on the other ones. But okay, so two D array relationship sub J. Okay, so one. What does this mean? I'm just trying to figure out how, what previous course, next course. So, okay, so each course, this they keep on mixing I and I plus one, and this one is just J, so that's why it's a little confusing for me. So this is um, one, two, three, and relationship is that, what is relationship? Like that's what I'm trying to understand, right? So, what does this mean? Previous courses. Okay, so this isn't. This is just unrelated. I thought this is related to the index. Okay, so one ha has to happen before three. Two has to happen before three, and okay. Hmm. Okay. So people got this one pretty quickly. I mean, I think this is a problem people have solved before. Not me though. So hmm. no, no. Hmm. Well, at least I don't know how to solve it off my head. I mean, I probably have an idea. It's just some weird topological sort of thing, maybe. Um, can we simulate the time? Time is 10 to the 4th, so 10,000. 10,000 times a lot of nodes. So we can't really simulate that well. But there is um, just heap sort, right? So we just put everything in a heap, and I think that'll be good. Um, yeah. On defense. 
Yeah, okay. I mean, I think this is a defense thing. So I, I'm going to do it with sweet pine, but I don't know. People might have done it another way. But yeah, full relationship. Okay. Is it always possible? Okay, it is possible. Okay. So yeah, in degree is equal to times n. Um, Okay, so then now we go through it. Um, time. Uh, okay, so. And then now for x and min sum. Uh, silly one index. Um, okay, so in range sub n. If in degree x is equal to zero, we want to do so. This we cared about time zero and x, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, I mean, this is actually pretty easy, but <sighs> I just messed up on the other ones too much. Okay, so then now, um, this is not true. This is, so now we're doing time sub x. Why didn't I use i? This is unnecessarily confusing. Change it to i. Index is equal to a pop of h. Um, so we completed this course, yay! And then now, when we completed this course, we look at each edges. current time and that means t plus uh, times sub v e, and then v e, right? yeah I think this is good actually mm. and, and then We return t. And then we just return the last t. Maybe that should work. I think we're mostly good actually. 8 and 12. 8 and 12. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. Let's give it some minute. I don't know. Yeah. Huh. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem, uh, this problem, and my explanation, or whatever you need to do. Uh, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care.